Floss Tube friends. This is Kate from Kate's Crafting Corner and I am here with our next update. We still have all four puppies. Um, James is sleeping somewhere I think. But aren't they still so cute? Oh they're so cute. They're getting so big. So this is our smallest one. Rosie Posy. Yes. Rosie Posy. They are ten weeks now I think. And here is Lily. She's such a feisty little one. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So, I love you. I love you. Yeah, this, she's, um, she's one of my favorites. I mean, I love them all, but she has so much personality. It's so cute. And this is Samwise Gamgee. Sammy Sams. Yes, you are. You're Sammy Sams. So, and then James is off doing whatever he's doing. Um, anyways, and Gracie and Georgie are both here too, so he's the only one missing. Do you want to say hi, George? Georgie, you want to say hi? Come here, come say hi. Come say hi. This is Georgie, he's the daddy. Yes, you're the daddy. Yes, you are. <laughs> I love you. And Gracie, come here, Gracie. She's right here too, and she is just returning to normal like her princess self. Oh, they both need haircuts desperately. Um, the groomer was booked up for like two months when I called to make their appointment. So unfortunately, we are still about three weeks away from their appointment. And um, I looked at like Petco to see if we could just have a quick... Uh, little grooming to tide them over but they were also booked out uh, all the pet codes in the area so um so no grooming appointment yet unfortunately they've developed some mats that I try to break through but Georgie's is so bad his hair is so thick and I thought I was getting out all tangles and stuff like that but I I think I need a new brush for him, like a different one, because it turns out it wasn't getting to the bottom and it wasn't pulling up the loose hair. And uh, one day I noticed just horrific mats. And then as I, so then I slowly went over him and he was just covered in mats. And so I spent a long time trying to take him out and that was painful for him. And then I had a really sore arm for like, three days afterwards and so um yeah they desperately need grooming and haircuts so yeah isn't that right Grace and Lions? Gracie 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 baby what are you doing to me mom why do you always do this I love you okay go play you guys can go play um they're actually really close to my chair, so I'm a little bit afraid to scoot it forward because I did that the other day, and James, I didn't realize, was laying straight in the wheels, and his ear got cut, and then he bled a little bit, and it was a big mess, and oh, he cried so hard, and I felt so bad. So, um, I'm going to be at a little bit more of a distance. Anyways, so... I do have vlogs that I combined and um, will be putting towards the end. So anyone who wants to watch the vlogs, you are free to. But um, I haven't like completely steered off course. However, there have been a few small changes and um, I will explain those in a minute. But I mean, I have made a lot of stitching progress. Here's the list of projects I have worked on and the stitch count I've done on them. And um, actually let me bring my bag over here so that I can pull out and show. I'm, I'm going to show each of them and then if you want to watch more detail um, you can continue to watch the vlogs. James! No, you're Sam got excited that I could show you the last one um I, I also will be doing a the giveaway drawing at the end of this segment 
Um, so first we're going to go over whips, some news, why things are changing a tiny bit, and, um, oh, and then also there's a quilt, uh, quilting stash update. Uh, I haven't really done any quilting, but, so I'll just show the stash update. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to start with why things are changing. So, May 9th was our two-year anniversary at the, I always call it Stitchy Quest, but I don't think that's the official name of the group, because every time I search that in the Facebook groups, it doesn't come up. Um, but the Quest to Destroy the One Ring stitching group. So, two-year anniversary. So, for that, what I decided to do was I made a game board. This is what it looks like. <laughs> And these are all the cover pictures for, not all, but many of the quests that we have done. And so, um, like, this is actually another game board that I created for, for a quest. And then we've done a Monopoly. Um, so, over here's the Monopoly board. And this is a Christmas event that we did. So, just various ones. And... Um, then I took all of the quest, well not all actually, I had to leave some out because they weren't suited for this type of activity. But I took all of them and I put them in a Google document which ended up being six pages. I printed out front and back so that I could easily reference it. But, um, and that ends up being 194 prompts. So basically what's happening and this goes on for the rest of the month is you only move one square at a time actually so you're not rolling a dice and moving ahead I could have done that but I chose not to <laughs> and so um, you move one square at a time and you use a randomizer to pick which prompt you're doing and then you do a hundred stitches on that so um, So, one of the first ones I did was number 22, stitch on a pattern with food in it. And so, I had to stitch on a project with food. So, this is why things are changing a little bit. This is the anniversary event for my group. And I did spend a lot of time creating this. Like, a good, like, 12 hours or something. Resizing all these pictures and putting it in the document. I had to go through every event. It just, it took a while. And so I really want to participate in this. So what I've decided to do is I will be doing this and I will be trying to complete the prompts with Mirabilia's. And so I'm still going to randomize and draw as the like focus Mirabilia because there's so many that are like could fit so many different Mirabilia's. So once I complete the number of stitches for that, I will randomize a new one. But if I need, like, um, well I ended up using the Dressmaker's Daughter, which is not one that was called. But it's got pomegranates or apples. I don't know what whether they're pomegranates or apples on here. So I used this one. Um, even though the one that was technically I was supposed to be working on at the time was Raven Queen, I used this one. So that's basically what I'm doing. Um, and then there's just, there's a lot of prompts that could work for almost anything. Like, um, stitch on a project that has fabric in it. I mean, almost all the Mirabilia have people wearing clothes so I mean that one can fit almost any of them so I still want to do the random aspect but completing this board is my kind of main goal right now and there are actually <laughs> 65 squares so that's a lot of stitching to do and also if there's a prompt that you don't want to do but you have a project that technically could fit it you can roll again, however, you also have to roll a four-sided dice and go back that number of squares. 
So while technically you can skip something you really don't want to do, you are paying a hefty price for it. You have to do up to four more additional squares. So, um, and that's because some people in the group totally abuse the penalty system. They will just pick one project and just do double the amount of stitches for everything. And well, that's totally fine most of the time. And that's people's personal choice. It's not mine, but it's people's personal choice. I thought for the anniversary challenge to make it a little bit harder. So, um, that's why things are, yeah, so anyways, like I said, that's why things are changing a little bit in terms of my Mirabilia Mania plans because I want to complete this game board. So, um, and again, that only started on Saturday, no Sunday technically. So, I'm going to go through and show you these in the order that I've worked on them. I do have two non mirabilias to show and I might just start with those actually so the first one is this elephant from the big five South African animals I got this well on safari with my family one year if you haven't been following along and don't know my dad is South African so I'm half South African half American and so we were visiting one year Christmas at my grandmother's and we went on safari. So, And then I got um, actually only four of the five because the fifth one was not available. So this is an elephant leg that I worked on. I did uh, 227 stitches. So uh, most of this darker color actually is what I did. And um, I needed it for... A challenge actually in a different group where you got additional points if you stitch specifically on an elephant or a giraffe and I had this or a whip with an elephant or a giraffe giraffe and um, I had this elephant one so that's what I did come on go back in I have to film two videos tonight because I also need to do the yarn update. So I'm trying to get these filmed and then edited and uploaded. So, okay, the second one was this new start, the Slytherin Common Room that I started with my friend Lauren. She wanted to start it May 1st. Um, I don't have an exact stitch count on this one because actually this is the one I'm working on right now for a prompt. Uh, I needed one with a fireplace. So that's why I'm working on this at the moment. And here is where I am at. Okay, now I will go over the Mirabilia's, which I worked on. One, two, three, four five, six, seven. Seven of them so far. So, I mean, I think that's pretty good. The first one, and again, if you want to see more detail on all of these, you can, um, you'll be able to see them on the, the vlogs that will be at the end of this video. Do I look wrong? There it is. Here we are. Now I think I've pulled out all the ones I've worked on. So the first one is Autumn Queen. That is what she looks like. And I did 411 stitches on her. And I worked in her hair. Oh, and her face. So here she is. Her face looks kind of creepy at the moment. but And I do skin two over two. I'm, I just can't be bothered with one over one. And, um, personally, I don't really like the look of it. So I know other people do, and that's fine for them to each their own. So this is on green. Next we have garden prelude. I only did 200 stitches on this one. 
Um, I love her so much and I love the fabric I have her on. So here's what she looks like. I have her on with an AON needle minder because, um, not AON, R1, because R1 has long black hair and so does this lady, so. I finished up the black in her hair and I started on the purple in her like ribbons or her yeah it's like a blue purple Anyways, so that's what she looks like Next we have Royal Holiday. This one was a new start for me and I did 718 stitches. This is the one I've done the most work on. So here's what she looks like. Again, this was a completely new start. I was worried about my fabric choice when I started this, but as I've stitched more, I've loved, I've actually really loved this fabric choice. So here is where she looks like, and I've kind of been a little bit all over the place. So, um, I was using it for a challenge where I needed like a hundred stitches and eight different colors or something like that so that's why she's kind of all over the place <laughs> but I still love it then I worked on <clears throat> Royal Games. This is what that one looks like. And I finished, okay, so I did 456 stitches on this one. And I did a lot of the black on the spades, and then I started with some of her turquoise color. So, um, I'm really enjoying this. I'm liking how you can see, like, here's her arm, and she's holding a flower there. I'm really enjoying this one. And I think I've been doing this one in hand because I was using the um, that method where you just stitch it on the top. I don't know. It goes really fast when you do that. Next we have Winter Queen. And I did 471 stitches on Winter Queen. Georgie is like staring up at me and I think it's because he thinks I'm showing food. So here's what she looks like. This one is actually, I believe, one of the oldest Mirabilia's. It's MD13. So, I think she was the first seasonal queen. And I worked more along the top.
top of her dress. I'm trying to work up to get to her head so that then I can just work down. <laughs> Next, we have my second new start. And this is Raven Queen. When I first started stitching on this, I was really worried about the fabric as the border and the black was blending in a lot on the fabric. But the further I've gone and the more I filled in, um, the better I think it looks and the more confident I am in the fabric selection. So, um, this is still on the Q snap. I did 705 stitches on this and here is where we are at. Let me put that up so less light is shining through. So I'm working on this arch over here. I've left it on the Q-snap because I'd really like to work some more on this. I'm really, really actually quite enjoying it. So. I've wanted to stitch this one on this fabric for years. And I finally just did it. So, I think I bought the fabric for this one um, almost a year ago. My husband gave me a one, two, three stitch uh, gift card and I bought this fabric and I bought some of the beads or I don't know I apparently missed though two Krynix and a Karen water lilies which I think they were out of stock of so I so the the Karen water lilies that's in this dress like the blue color yeah, I don't have that yet. I, I need to acquire it. Which is why I had to start actually in the border with the column because I had those colors. Um, so I'm really loving this one a lot. And the final Mirabilia, which I already showed you a peek of, I guess is Dressmaker's Daughter. I've done 462 stitches on her and I so I was up here like right up here and so I've done all of this down here and so I've started to highlight on the actual chart and I know that's sacrilegious to a lot of people, but I do it for basically all of my mirabilias. And since I started to do that, this has become... So I filled that all in when I started to do the stitching for this one this time. And it made doing all of this so much easier because with all of this purple, it was just so easy to lose track of where I was and that was getting frustrating or I would pull it out to work on it and I just couldn't quite figure out where I was. And so I'm really glad I did that. It made this so much more enjoyable. And yeah. Um, I'm just checking to make sure. I need to pull up this chair and making sure there's no dogs. No dogs to get hurt. <laughs> Anyways, so those are my whips. And um... I'm really, really enjoying this so much, and I hope that all of them get randomized at some point. I think, um, hang on, let me look. Okay, um, I think I'm aiming to do another 250 stitches on dressmaker's daughter before randomizing a new one so 
that's why it's still in the Q-snap and um, yeah that's what's happening there but yeah those are my whoops so I do have a couple stash enhancements to share um, for quilting um so, so okay so Missouri Star Quilt Company I was trying to think of the name of the company Missouri Star Quilt Company offered an advent box and you had to pay half of the deposit by April 15th or something like that I don't know 20th somewhere in there and I was really on and off the fence about it. I didn't know if I was going to do it. Um, I find that a lot of times sewing notions are really like personal if it's something that's beneficial for you. But I really want to get more into quilting. And I watched someone's complete unboxing of last year's. And while everything wasn't a complete hit with me, there was a lot of really cute, useful things. And so I decided to just take the plunge and do it this year. So while doing that, um, you were able to add some things to your cart and because it already added up to free shipping, normally free shipping is like when you spend a hundred dollars, but because this was two payments, it would add up to that. Anyways, I, I don't completely understand, but I was able to, able to add a couple small items that normally I'd have to pay like $5 shipping for and um, because it was already considered free shipping I didn't have to do that so one of those things is this diagonal seam tape that I've really been wanting to try so what you do is for anyone who doesn't do quilting you get this red line to line up with your needle and then these black lines on either side are quarter inch. And with quilting, almost everything is quarter inch. But so what you're able to do is if you're trying to sew like triangles or down a diagonal, you can put the corners of the squares right on this red line and know that you're getting, wait, no. Well, yeah, if you put it right there, you know that you're sewing directly diagonal or you could put it um, on the quarter inch so that you know that you're sewing a quarter inch from the corner, if that makes sense. Because sometimes you'll sew a quarter inch on either side of the diagonal so that you can cut it on that diagonal and get two half square triangles. Um, well, anyways, so this is really useful. I've seen a lot of quilters use it and recommend it, but it's only like six, seven dollars, and so I don't want to pay five dollars shipping for that. So it was nice to be able to throw that in, and I haven't used it yet, clearly, but I'm hoping to use it soon. The other thing I got was they were having a mystery charm pack sale and so it was half off the cost of a normal charm pack. So charm packs are 5 by 5 inch squares. There's usually 40 to 42 in it and it will be like a complete fabric line. Um, they're normally $10 so these were on sale for $5 and this is what got sent to me. It's called Afternoon Picnic from Penny Rose Fabrics um, with Riley Blake. And um, I believe it's with Riley Blake because on the back they have the Riley Blake website listed. Anyways, I haven't opened it up yet and looked at all the fabrics. However, just by looking at this one, I thought that they can make some cute placemats. So I might make some placements with them. So, I mean, it was $5, so that's a pretty good deal. And that's the two things I bought um, that were sent to me. I finally received one of my Jelly Roll Clubs from the Fat Quarter Shop. So, um, it's still in this plastic because I want to keep all the dirt and dust off of it till I use it. 
but this one is called Sunday Stroll. And here is a kind of idea of what the fabrics look like in there. And so I'm really excited to get a project to use with this. And then the final quilting thing I have to share is on my last video, or one of my last videos. Actually, I think it was in um, the yarn one. I mentioned skipping my Yarnable subscription for the month and instead applying that money to getting a fabric for my husband's youngest granddaughter so I can make her a throw quilt for Christmas because I found this line called Ahoy Mermaids. And so I ended up deciding to go with the jelly roll and I think I picked a pattern. Um, I do think I need to get a jelly roll of plain whites, but um, or I can just cut from yardage. But anyway, so it's hard to tell, but there's mermaids or just various ocean-related type things. I think this will be really cute for a little girl, and um, I'm hoping she will enjoy it. So I, this is another thing I need to get working on. But so yeah, that's my last fabric stash enhancement. I don't have any on the way or anything. So um, I don't know when my next update for that will be. But yeah. So the final thing to do. Oh my goodness, where's my phone? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> the final thing to do is to pick the winner for um, my giveaway for the so it'll be a project bag, a needle minder, this fabric, and then you might recall I had picked out a silk to include. Unfortunately, it seems that the fan blew it off of the desk and the dogs got to it and this is what it looks like now. I will be picking a different one. I just haven't picked it yet. But um if if you want to try to detangle this, I can send it as well as a new one. <laughs> Otherwise it's probably gonna end up in the garbage. Which um I'm sorry about but it's such a mess. My husband was like, you can try to untangle it. No, I think I would go crazy. Ugh, little dogs. I mean, I get they don't know better. But yeah, anyways. So, I will be including a different one. Just haven't picked it out yet. It'll be a surprise. But it, it, is, it looks so cute together. Whatever, whatever. Okay, so I'm using the... YouTube random comment picker thing this website so I've entered in the video link and I've had it filter out duplicate duplicate entries so if you comment in multiple times it's only gonna take it once um so I'm gonna do this live so no one thinks that I'm cheating there are 17 unique comments and we'll press the start button so the winner is triple m stitching she says i love lots of color themes for a, for project bags i love florals and disney and oranges your puppies are lovely and the idea of mirabilia mania is so fun so thank you triple m stitching for entering and I will leave a comment on your comment and um, get back to you. I can definitely do a project bag within your theme. I, um, I will have it be a surprise what it ends up being but I, I know I have fabric that fits that theme. So thank you so much for entering. Thank you for everyone. I'm sorry I couldn't give all of you guys a project bag but um, I will be having more giveaways in the future. 
we're almost at 800 subscribers, which is insane. Um, I don't think 800 will be the next giveaway, but it'll be soon after that. So, um, I'm, thank you all for watching. I will now be entering the clips from the, um, the vlogs I was doing. And if you want to watch, that's totally cool. If not, that's fine as well. And I will try to leave timestamps for everything down in the comment section. So until next time, I'm going to try to do one update a week for Mirabilia Mania. And I'm still having so much fun. So talk to you guys later. Bye. Hello, friends. It is 12.07 on May 1st. And um, I'm here to do my first spin and randomization for my Mirabilia Mania. Um, thanks again, Sarah, Stitchy Mommy, for giving me this idea. So I'm so excited. I managed to find six pairs of Q-snaps, but I didn't look thoroughly, so there might still be a few hiding out there. Um, so... My plan is basically just to leave it on the Q-snap until I have to steal one. <laughs> so, um, oh, the other thing is that, you know, I was talking about having planned 12 Mirabilias, so two are new starts, and um, as I was pulling them all out, because I'm going to be keeping them in this big Neil Diamond bag I have, see they're all in here. Anyways, as I was pulling them out, I realized that I did not include one. And um, this one is one that's actually started, and it's a gift for one of my sisters, so I had to include it. So then I was asking my friends if, if there was a 13th month. I was totally joking. But then apparently there's this thing called Undecember, and I was looking it up on the Wikipedia, and... Um, I don't think they gave dates, so one of my friends suggested um, that it <laughs> should be the time between Christmas and New Year, which is a week. So, you know, if I'm assigning Mirabilia's one per month, I can assign one in that week and pretend like it's the 13th month. But, I mean, if I'm being completely honest with myself, we're all pretty aware of the fact that I make plans and I don't really keep them. But, um, yeah, so... Anyways, I feel like this is the most, like, casual looking I've been in a while, but it's midnight, so, um, no makeup, and I'm, I'm not even wearing my wedding ring or anything, but I was so excited to start, so, um, I'll show you that one really quick, and that is the dressmaker's daughter. That is what it looks like. It is so pretty, but it's also kind of like a pain in the butt in part because of this fabric, which is the called for fabric. So that's as far as I've gotten. I might consider going in and starting to stitch on the dress. Um, so I'm mean, not pretty happy with it, but definitely um, have to include that in this. And then the one other project I wanted to share with you guys is my friend Lauren, um, the same one who told me to put it in that <laughs> time period between Christmas and New Year's. Anyways, we agreed on a new start. So I'm going to be stitching on this for 30 to 60 minutes every day. Um, and it's not a Mirabilia, um, but it is the Slytherin Common Room. Um... You can find this on Etsy. Uh, the designer is Green Terrace. And this is what it looks like. And it's so pretty. I love it so much. There's my Slytherin needle minder that I'll be putting my on my fabric. And then I'm just going to be stitching this on um, some 28 count white Monaco. Because, of course, there are the other three common rooms, except for Hufflepuff hasn't been released yet, but there's still Gryffindor and Ravenclaw. And so eventually I would like to get and stitch all of them. So I just wanted to go with a plain fabric that will match all of them. So I will be starting this in a few minutes. And so I'm gonna get that 30 to 60 minutes out of the way. 
and um, then I will start working on my Mirabilia. So let's see what gets spun first. Now in the future I might do these more as the top down view as I'm spinning this and show you like um, all the starting points and stuff like that like I did last Mirabilia, uh, Mania. But I thought for the first one, um, I would just do it this way. So, it might go back and forth. We'll see. Okay, so first spin. Autumn Queen. Okay. And now let's see how long we're going to, I'm going to work on that for. For four hours. Okay. Four hours on Autumn Queen. Exciting. Then we'll, um, I'll do it now while I'm thinking about it. I'm going to change the, the chances. So, um, oh, I forgot. I have to turn my brightness all the way down. Change the probability on the wheel down from 99 to 90. And now there's a smaller chance than all the others that it will get spun again. So that's all for now. And I will show you where I am at in a minute. My husband is standing in the doorway trying to intimidate me, but it's not going to work. Okay. Bye. Hi. So I was going to do my 30 minutes on the Slytherin common room, but, um, and then show you guys the preview for the autumn queen. However, my husband wants to watch a show downstairs so I'm just going to show you now where I'm at on the Autumn Queen because um, once I'm done with those 30 minutes I'll just switch over to that so this is what the Autumn Queen will look like and here is where I got to this is her hair so what I only pulled out three colors to keep on working on downstairs and that's the same brown over here, then one more shade of brown, and then the color of her face. So there's actually quite a few beads in her hair. So um, I'm going to need to mark on my pattern what is beads. So I'll stop looking up the symbols in this area. And, um, and then I'll continue working down. So that's what I'm going to be working on for the four hours I'm working on this. And um, when that is done, I will give you guys another update. So I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey guys. So it is now the, well, it's just past midnight headed into May 3rd. Um, so about 48 hours later. So I guess that answers whether I'm going to do daily vlog or not during this mania. Um, I only just finished my four hours. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm in the middle of a war zone. I, I'm not even sure how many of them are involved right now. I Last I looked, three, but I think I saw a fourth just now. I don't know. <laughs> Always little dogs running around. But I love that. I do. I really love it. Anyways, so I only just finished my four hours. Um... We had a really packed day on Saturday. Um, uh, we got our hair cut, which is the first time I've gotten my hair cut in a year and a half. I was due for a haircut when we went into lockdown, and I just never went out to go get one after that. So, first haircut in a year and a half. It feels good. And then we also had our first date night in a long time, like date night out. As a, I mean, we've done a few like at home date nights where I've cooked a nice dinner and we've played games or something like that. But a date night out at a restaurant. I am so sorry. Let me see how many are. Hey, hey, be nice, be nice, be nice. There are four of them back there. So Gracie, Georgie, and two pups. Come here, Lily. Come here. Come here. This is my sweet Lily girl. Hi, Lily. Um, she's one we are probably for sure keeping. She just um 
<laughs> some really sweet, loving, very, very feisty. And because she's so feisty, she will get into it and play with Gracie and Georgie and not be afraid at all about that. Um, the same with James. Um, Sammy. Come here, Sam. Come here, Sammy Sams. Sammy Sams. Sammy is our most timid. Aren't you, big boy? He is. You would not think he was the firstborn because you are the biggest timid one. Yes, you are. I will frequently find him crying somewhere because he doesn't want to jump down off the couch or he doesn't want to climb down the stairs by himself. Yes. <laughs> All the others are far more independent, but you're a sweet boy. I do. I love you so much. I would keep all of you. Yes, I would. Anyways, so this is Sammy. And so I guess that leaves James. Is James, It's normally Gracie, Georgie, James, and Lily playing together. Um, wildly. So I was a little bit surprised that was Sammy and mixed up in the fray. But I was not surprised it was Lily. <laughs> um, anyways, and I think I saw Rosie sleeping. And so I guess maybe Jamie is sleeping as well. Um, but yeah, so I finished my four hours on Autumn Queen Mirabilia. So, I mean, she looks creepy with her face right now. Because um, she definitely needs the outline and the eye details. And then to blend it in more with her hair. But I am really, really happy with my progress. I ended up getting just over 400 stitches. Um, it would have been more, but the first hour and a half or so, I was watching this show called 911, and it is so hard for me to stitch during that show because, um, mm. I just get so emotional during that show. I cry almost every episode. I, I really like all of the main characters, their backstories. I just think it's a really good, heartfelt show, um, about people like they feel like real people not just like some tv character shows it feels like people who make mistakes and they are allowed to come back from those mistakes they grow from them there's consequences of them it's not just about those 911 calls and the fire department people who answer them it's the stories of those the stories of the dispatcher or just I don't know it's I love that show so much and I cry all the time basically every episode by the end I've cried <laughs> and anyway so I was watching that like two episodes of that which is how I got hardly any stitching done and then the last of my stitching, I was listening to an audiobook, and I was able to just quickly get, um, so I finished all of the shade in her face, and, um, well, and I, I did a lot in her hair, too, but, yeah, so, um, I'll leave it in the plastic, but... If she gets called again, I'd like to do the next shade in her face and do some more in her hair. So I basically want to do all this top part, and I'm not going to do the beads. And I actually need to order the metallics, the Krynic, and the, um, it calls for this discontinued color, and I think I'm going to change it out for Petite Treasure Braid, but I need to order the particular shade that people recommended, um, PB03. And I think I have 01 and 02, but not 03. So, um, yeah, I need to order some of that. But, yeah, so I want to just basically work down on her. So, I am really quite pleased. Of all of the queens, she was my least favorite. But now I'm really enjoying her, and I really love her on this fabric. So, I'm really happy. So, let's roll and see what we're going to do or spin and see what we're going to do next. Let me turn down the brightness. Royal Holiday. Oh, this is a new start. 
Um, so I will pull that out and do a little preview for you guys. I am doing one length uh, a day on my Slytherin Common Room. Um, so I've done two, two thread lengths so far. And I will update once a video. Um, now that I guess I'm doing about a week's worth. I guess I'll try to... I'll try to film through a Wednesday and get it uploaded for a Thursday type of thing. Um, and so at the end, I will put that, and I guess in this upload video, I will also include the giveaway winner for my giveaway. And then I've acquired a few fabric things, and I will share those at the end of this video. So... Um, yeah, that's what's going on. Oh, wait, hang on. How long are we going to work on her for? Let's figure that one out real quick. Generate the number. Seven hours. We can make quite a bit of progress in seven hours. Okay, well, I will pull that out, and we will see what happens. So, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Bye. Well, I am back, and look who came in the room in the, like, one minute since I ended the last video and pulled out the stuff. It's Jamie Boy. Yes, it's Jamie Boy. He's the other one that we will probably keep. Like I said, I would keep them all. My husband's, like, not even wants me to keep two, but I had trouble narrowing it down even past two. And even then, I look at the other two with, oh, I wish I could keep them all. Little rosy... Little Sammy Sams. <sighs> I part of what led me to Lily and James is that their personalities are oh, so different from Gracie and Georgie. Sammy is a lot like George, and Rosie is identical to Gracie. And well, I obviously love that because I love my two dogs. The way that Lily and James are so different, it's just a nice another dynamic. Um, and they are both completely unafraid of Gracie and Georgie, and the four of them will play quite frequently a lot together. And I just think that that's a nice healthy dynamic. Um, so, I have pulled it out. So this is what she looks like, and isn't she gorgeous? Oh, she's so beautiful. I hope I've made a good fabric choice. I'm, I don't know. This, this is what I chose for her. I don't know if I should take one more look in my stash and see if I have something more similar to this. Or even if I want that. I don't know. Maybe I'll go talk to my husband, but I doubt he'll have an opinion on the matter. But I think I'm going to start up and probably try to work on her face. I know this one calls for whisper thread. Yeah. And I don't, I have not ordered that yet. And I'm not going to do that at this point. Um, I mean, I'm not going to stitch with it at this point. And part of me wonders if I'm even going to bother and maybe just use white. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but so we will see where seven hours on her gets us. So I will talk to you guys probably in a couple of days because I don't see myself stitching seven hours, um, in one day. So I will catch up with you guys and then probably that will be my update video. So see you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, so one mild deviation from plan, and that is um, in one of the groups that I am doing, Daily 30, there's a pop-up event um, for like the Maypole or May Day. I'm not entirely positive. All I know is that I need to stitch 200 stitches on something that could be used for a pull. And you know all those ribbons that go with it. So first you have to stitch on something that could be used with a pull. And as much as I would like it to, there is just nothing in this that could be used as a pull. 
Um, so I am pulling out um, Garden Preload. And I will do 200 stitches on her before changing back to Royal Holiday. And um, because the next part is, I, I don't remember if it's a, I think it's 100 colors on eight no, 100 stitches on 8 colors, um, and then you get points per color that you're able to complete. And we only have until May 4th to do that, so, but we have to start with the poll. That We have to do the poll first. That's in the rules. So, um, I pulled her out. I am just going to do those 200 switch stitches, and then I will go to... Royal Holiday and work on eight different colors on her. Um, or, this is where I'm starting and I am going to continue with her hair. Black stitching, like just chunks of it goes pretty fast. So I'm hoping to get the 200 stitches done really fast and then be able to switch back over to what I randomized. Um, and... I'm trying to decide if I'm going to, because every time something gets spun on the wheel, I knock it down in terms of likelihood of being called. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do that for this one, because it technically hasn't been called, but I am stitching on it. So, um, so I don't know if I should take it down from 99% to 90%. Um. I will think on that and then make a decision. Anyways, so I'm going to quickly do this, hopefully get it done tonight, and um, maybe even get a start on Royal Holiday. So I will catch you guys up in a minute. Bye. Hey, guys. It's a couple hours later, and I have done the 200 stitches on Garden Prelude. Hang on, let me move this so I look over a little bit. So I finished all of the black that is in her hair. And I started on this dark purple that really actually kind of blends in with the black. Um, but it is looking really, really nice. I'm really enjoying this. It's hard for me to put it away. But it was not the one whose wheel was spun. And so, um, yeah, I'm putting it away for now. And I am going to work on the Royal Holiday, Royal Queen, um... I do need to do 100 stitches in eight different colors, and so um, I might be jumping around a little bit on that. It's pretty late right now, um, like 3, 3.30 or something like that. Yeah, 3.30 in the morning. Uh, the book I'm listening to has about um, an hour, hour and a half left on it, so I'm probably going to finish that and then go to bed. Um, and actually I still have to take out the garbage, <laughs> but it's, um, green waste this week. So and where we live every other week is green waste or recycle. And so it's not as big of a deal to take out the green waste and the garbage gets collected every week. So, um, overall that would probably just take 10, 15 minutes. So I will do that after I finish my book and hopefully I'll get one or two colors in. Um, because I think the deadline for this pop-up event is like 9, 9 a.m. on May 4th, which is like my 6 a.m. So basically I only have tomorrow to get it done. Um, and also I've got a birthday party to go to tomorrow, so I really want to get it done a couple hundred stitches. I probably won't be able to do all eight colors, um, but I will get done when I can, and what I don't get done is not a big deal, so I will catch up with you guys when I have completed my seven hours on Royal Holiday. Bye! Hey guys, it is about 7 a.m. on May the 4th. And I am here because I finished my seven hours on um, Royal Queen or Royal Holiday Queen. Um, anyways, I didn't think that I would finish before uploading 
um, well, I was probably going to edit on Thursday and upload for Friday, and I just thought seven hours is a lot of time, no way am I going to make that, but I have been basically possessed, um, with this piece, and I can't believe this is a new start. I did, um, 718 stitches. That's about pretty average for me, about 100 stitches an hour is usually about what I get. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys that. I'm, I've still been up, <laughs> like, I've not been yet to bed, and, um, I think that this happens to me, well, for one thing, I'm completely convinced that my internal clock is the opposite of normal, because I spent most of today completely exhausted until it was about 7 or 8 p.m., and then I got my energy. Um, but I also think it happens because summer is very uncomfortable for me. And I know it's not yet summer, but we've gotten temperatures in the 90s already here. And I just don't deal with heat well. And in some ways, and my husband gets cold very easily. So I can never have the air conditioning as high up as I would like. Um... And so, I think part of my coping mechanism is that I'll stay up all night where it actually gets quite nice and cool here where I live at night. And then I will sleep through the heat. And um, I can't always sleep through it because sometimes it's just so hot, I'm so uncomfortable. But if I can fall asleep while well, it's still relatively cool, I can sleep through most, most of the time when I'm the most uncomfortable because when I get hot it's really hard for me to function like all I can think about is how hot and uncomfortable I am and so it makes it hard to do any kind of cleaning the house or anything like that so um that's part of why I think I pull some all-nighters um yeah so it's what happens I don't, I usually never even intend for it to happen. Like, I tell myself, uh, last night, what did I tell myself? That I was just waiting for my hair to dry after a shower. <laughs> I don't know. I tell myself things, say I'm going to go to bed before the sun comes up, but it doesn't happen a lot of times. So, anyways, let me show you guys this royal holiday, and then we will spin and see what's happening next. So, um, let me actually, uh, I don't want it all the way doubled up like that, but having the extra layer makes, so, I don't normally stitch all over like this. However, there was a challenge on one of the groups I'm on that was having you do like a hundred stitches in different colors, and so I did that for six different colors, so, um. So yeah, so I had to do a lot more jumping around than I normally do. But having done that, um, it's a lot prettier of a green in person. But having done that really actually helped me feel better about my fabric choice because I was kind of up in the air about it. And now I think it looks quite nice. I, I love that red popping off of it. I, of course, have not yet gotten to the gold, but I'm really liking how she looks. So, um... I can't wait to work on her again. I'm really, I'm really happy with the 718 stitches. I think that was a good start for a new start. So let's see what's up next. And so we're spinning. Royal Games. Okay. And for how long? Do, 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 do. One hour. Okay, well, um, I mean, that's not a big deal at all, so I will be back to show you guys that in a minute, and then, um, yeah, like I said, one hour, that's, I will definitely be back again today to, uh, <laughs> pick something new, I guess, so I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Okay, so I am here with my preview of the Royal Games. So this is what it will look like when it's finished. 
I have been working with the DMC 310 and I will most likely continue working with that since I've only got an hour assigned for it. Here is where I've gotten to before. So when you look over here, I did the whole dividing line between the Queen of Hearts and the Queen of Spades. And then I started working on this glove area with the Queen of Spades. So I will continue working on that black and just see where that takes me. So that's all for now and I will be back in an hour with an update unless I go to bed first. I don't know. haven't decided. So I will talk to you guys in a bit. Hey guys. So um, I have done slightly over than an hour on this. I'm going to do a tiny bit more. Um, over here, see I did her glove and I'm working a little bit there. I, I need to do about uh, 50 more stitches for a challenge, so I'm going to do those real quick. But my husband wants to watch a TV show, so I am going to spin the wheel for the next thing so that I can take that downstairs and... Uh, we can do that. So let's see what will be up next. I have this flipped the opposite way I normally do. Winter Mirabilia. And for how long? Five hours on Winter Mirabilia. Okay, well, I probably won't finish that tonight. Who knows, though? So. I'll take that downstairs with me, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Or, actually, I'll do a pre quick preview of where that is at. So, be back in a minute. I am back with the Winter Queen Mirabilia. That is what she will look like. And here is where I am at on her. I started in the center, so that's part of her dress. Um, I will pick a few colors to take downstairs with me. And see how far I get um, but that is what's happening right now so I will talk to you guys later hey guys I am here for just a quick update I finished working on winter queen and managed to get in just under 500 stitches so I made some really good progress on her it's kind of just blobby looking right now um, it looks better in person. It's showing up way darker on this than in person, but, um, 471 stitches. This is part of her dress. I am trying to slowly work up so I can get to her head around here, um, because I did start in the middle on this one. So, um, I'm really happy with my progress and yeah, I can't wait to get to work on this again. But in the meantime, I am here to spin the wheel again. Um, one of the challenges I'm on has, that ends tomorrow has a couple of specific type requirements that if I don't spin something that will work for it, I might have to do a small deviation to try to do them or I might just skip the rest of that challenge. So we will see, but um, for now let's spin the wheel. So here it goes. Raven Queen, a new start. Which means I will have started both of my new starts already. Um, so that's really exciting. I Wait, would I have started both of them? I'm looking at my list over here. Oh yeah, the Royal Holiday was the other one. Wow, in the first week I will have started both of them, but I have been wanting to do Raven Queen for so long. So, I will pull her out and look at that and come back in a minute with a preview. Um, and I will see, I will see if she will work for one of the challenges. So, um, I will come back in a couple of minutes. Bye! Hey guys, so I am back, and I realized that I forgot to pick a random amount of time to work, and um, I haven't been 
sticking so strictly to the amount of time just kind of estimating about a hundred stitches per hour and then doing a little bit of wiggle room within there um, so like the last one the number randomized was five and I did 471 stitches and so I figured that was close enough so that's kind of what I'm doing so anyways I randomized a number and I got six so um, I guess we're aiming towards about 600 stitches so I looked at the challenges and I think it's probably a stretch but the one I'm going to try to fit this in is that to work on one that you are having your own battle with and I'm going to say that the battle I'm having with this one is um, I haven't been able to get all the materials because I've searched a couple the last couple of times I made orders they've been out of this monsoon color they might have it in stock now but they've been out when I've tried to order and then I'm also don't have two of the chronics and then the other one is that um, the dye splotches aren't exactly where I would have desired them to be and there's less purple in here than I had hoped that there would be so that's gonna be another battle so um other than that I am still super excited to be starting this I'm just putting that as um, my reasoning for this challenge so that will be 400 stitches and then um, one of one of those challenges is for 200 stitches only and that's for one with an animal on it and you get extra points if there's an elephant or a giraffe and I do have whips that have an elephant or a giraffe but I'm thinking it's only three points. I might just do those extra 200 stitches on Raven Queen because she's got the ravens in it. So not 100% for sure yet on those decisions, but that's where I'm leaning at the moment. And so, yeah, basically I'm thinking that I will measure the fabric and then uh, try to start right there just because I hate working up and so I just if I can I prefer to start in the upper left hand side so that is my update for that and I will well let's see six hours I might be able to finish this what I might do is try to finish this one then string together all of the days do the random drawing and my quilting little update and call that a week one mania update video so that's probably what I'll do so next time you see me we'll actually be closer to when I've done this so I will talk to you guys in a little bit bye it's playtime outside what are you guys doing oh my gosh <laughs> Little bursts of energy. Hi, hey George. Aren't you gonna go play, Georgie? Georgie, George. Aren't you gonna go play? We're just gonna chew on a stick, apparently. It's feeding time and everybody's here waiting for some food in which Howard put in some of his leftover prime rib so it's a little bit spoiled tonight.
we uh, put the leftovers in and then Gracie and Georgia get the leftovers, so. Aren't you gonna eat? Jamie James, aren't you gonna go eat? Actually, made enough for. Oh. Oh. Look how spoiled they are. Lily, James, aren't you gonna go eat your food?